Our second lesson comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. I therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patient, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people when it says he ascended what? Or reconcile both of us in one body for God or in him or in himself or keynote in the spirit or other ancient authorities read to bring to light or the fate of him, or the ancient authorities, add or to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father. Does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended in the same one who ascended far above all the heaven so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the, ministry, for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. The word of the Lord. <laughs> 